fan, let's take a look back at how Jawbreaker's Revenge and Panzer Mark III got here tonight. Panzer Mark III's creator, Todd Mendenhall, looks like an easy-going guy, but his robots have a real mean streak. A veteran of the competitive robot circuit, Mendenhall's latest creation is the result of lessons learned from seven previous efforts. We learned what designs work, what designs don't work. And we are trying to incorporate some of those lessons learned into our new design. Panzer Mark III's primary feature is its plow, driven by a nonlinear four-bar linkage designed for maximum lifting power. His first opponent, Reintroverter, felt the force of Panzer's weapon on the gauntlet platform when he got launched into the gutter. But Reintroverter felt the true sting of that plow in the labyrinth turntable when the bimodal bot got Jimmy on to his side in the first three seconds of the game, leaving Panzer all alone to clean up. In the fight to the finish, Panzer continued his merciless run by tossing Zeus onto his head and then nutting him over the side with chilling disdain. But the days of lopsided victory may be over for Todd Mendenhall because now he's up against another veteran robot builder, Tim Burkhoff. Tim's creation, Jawbreaker's Revenge, is also known for its vicious approach, and it's easy to see why. That titanium coated jaw has 3,000 pounds of crushing force. A two-wheel design, Jawbreaker's Revenge is also capable of running upside down. It's a little bit harder to control a two-wheel drive robot. It's harder to keep a straight course with it. But then again, in the fighting part of things, you're really maneuverable. You can flip upside down. When Jawbreaker's Revenge took on the gauntlet earlier this season, his tiny opponent, Buzz Bob, may have spared himself some wrath by stranding himself on the bricks. But when the labyrinth opened up, there were no holes barred as Jawbreaker gobbled up his diminutive opponent in the turntable and proceeded to use Buzz Bomb as his glass breaker in a humiliating display. The fight to the finish also saw the strength of Jawbreaker's chops when he took a bite out of Penguin, then carefully cocked him up over the field of spikes. Now these two bad bots of Robotica will have to face each other, and only one main streak will be allowed to continue to the fight to the finish. Panzer Mark III and Jawbreaker's Revenge have proven they both know how to throw their weight around. Now the question is, which can take it as well as he dishes it out? Okay, robots, the easy stuff's over. It's time for the labyrinth, and here's how it works. Six challenges guard six glass panes. The tougher the challenge, the more points the pane of glass is worth. Smash through them all and get past the gates of the final pane, and the bonus points are yours. Now watch out for the robotic harass, because they're coming for you, baby. And the robots are ready. Backing in on the left is Tim Burkhopper's Jawbreaker's Revenge, and on the right, Todd Mendenhall's Panzer Mark III. The robots are in position. It's time to do this thing. Robots ready. Here they go! And Panzer aggressive immediately, lifting Jawbreaker right out of the turn table. Jawbreaker Revenge hits the rat gate, and now to go through the slow doors, Jawbreaker just looking to get away. Here's the Jawbreaker cam as he gets put into the rail, Panzer will need him again. Um, and he started with that job facing away from Panzer, so he's not in a good position to fight. Panzer's lower profile easily gets under those wheels. Tim not liking what he's seeing. But he's staying patient. Red Rat is scoping out the action, and now Panzer's using that plow. He's trying to lift him onto his side on it. Jawbreaker's revenge is bimodal, but if he gets stranded sideways, he's done for. Oh, and it looks like Panzer's done it. Jawbreaker's shooting precariously there, but not falling back onto his wheels. And Panzer has backed away, and is now going for points. He's heading into the rollers, bouncing over the speed bumps. Now he's into the wrecking balls. And he's through for 25 points. Red Rat's hitting Jawbreaker back there, Ahmed, and he's just traded him. Jawbreaker's on his wheels, but he's not moving. Something must have popped loose in the circuitry during the fighting. And the Rams Jawbreaker now. Doesn't want to give him a chance to get going again. Red Rat just being mean there. And now Grey Rat gets into the action, too. There you see both drivers talk all business as he goes after Tim Robot. Ahmed, this is exactly what Panzer did to Reintroverter earlier this season. He knocked that bimodal bot onto his side at the beginning, left him stranded, and cleaned up the labyrinth on his own time. Once again, he's used that plow effectively tonight. Now it looks like Panzer is leaving Jawbreaker in the hands of Grey Rat and going after more points. He gets the box lined up, he pushes the side easily, and he's turning. And 15 more points for Panzer. Got a shutout going so far. Red Rat's trying to get in his way. Panzer doesn't seem too concerned about it. I don't think Jawbreaker's gonna get moving anytime soon, man. Well, if you were, it would have happened by now. Tim is trying every stick on that controller, but Jawbreaker is not responding. This is the most frustrating moment for a builder because there's probably a simple fix under that hood, but you can't reach it from the sidelines. Panzer, meanwhile, at the ramp. He's waiting for the timing. Got that pile up for more clearance. And Todd goes smoothly across and gets 20 more points. 
He has not yet clinched this event. He needs at least one more obstacle to do so, but there's no doubt he's controlling the Labyrinth right now. He's coming back out, and he makes it clean. Again, Red Rat gets in his way. Oh, and this time, Panzer gets me with him. Smacks Red Rat, and now they're on the speed bumps. And Panzer knocks Red Rat upside down, fires him into the corner. Panzer pulling no punches here. He didn't even want to go that direction. He's heading back toward the sand. An obstacle he loves, Ahmed. Those six wheels distribute his weight and keep him from getting bogged down. And those 25 points clip this labyrinth. Panzer, who showed off that main string earlier in the season, continues it here today. You see those bounce scores on his plow, but Todd's robot may have just set himself up as the one to beat here in Rubanica. He's safely back out from the sand. John Breaker's Revenge has just been an audience member since earlier in this competition. Well, there's a siren, so no need to risk anything, but Panzer goes for the spikes anyway and gets it 15 more points. Now he's coming back out. Oh, and it looks like he's going for the bridge. Is this an ego thing? He nails it. Gets the last 20 points here. The bonus pain would give him a complete sweep. Well, I'll bet the first robot to ever get a sweep in this event is Juggerbot, who will be in the next matchup. Maybe Panzer wanted to make a statement to his possible competition. Statement made and understood. Panzer crosses through the turntable now, heading for the exit gate. He's a bit misaligned. Todd's looking for a better vantage point. Now Panzer's at the gate, and he's across, and he's done it. Every point is his, and Todd actually looks excited. A great run here for Panzer Mark III. Ahmed Panzer has consistently gone with a fight first, ask questions later strategy, and it worked for him again tonight. Jawbreaker's large exposed wheels were easy for Panzer to get under, and once on his side, Jawbreaker was due. Panzer then showed he could handle obstacles as well as a fight, proving he'll be a force to be reckoned with in the next round. And Panzer Mark III is moving on to the fight to the finish. He cleaned that thing out. Check out the scores. Panzer Mark III mopped up with 150 points over Jawbreaker's Revenge with zero. Penny is down with our first fight to the finish competitor right now. All right, here we have Todd Ben and all representing Panzer Mark III. Now, Jawbreaker had the reputation of being the, the bad bot on the scene. Were you trying to get him back? Is that, what, is that what's going on here? Not really. I think <laughs> they're, I've been around them. They're pretty nice people. But, yeah. You know, it's it's crunch time now. That's and right. No more Mr. Nice Guy, so we we tried everything we could. And they they were not pursuing us, trying right. to get us. We were pursuing them. But we noticed that you came out slugging right from the beginning. You didn't have to go get all the rest of the points. Was no. that something that you wanted to do? Was it something This for... is so much fun. It's unbelievably And you wanted to see if you could go do it. And right? I wanted to see if it could go through all the obstacles. And you won hundred and fifty to nothing. There you go. On to the next round, the fight to the finish. Woo!